Okay, so uh, Gnarly Davidson, we got her all wrapped up here finally. Um, took some time, you know, searching out some parts, coming up with uh, the best solutions to some stuff. So, uh, biggest changes obviously are these giant mud flaps that we built. Uh, we got rid of our old traditional style big wheel dually flaps and uh, went to these. They're massive, they're 30 inches wide, these things, we had them custom made. And then of course we had them finished out, gloss black, and then these bitchin' chrome logos that we had uh, made up. And uh, they turned out like just sick. On the road facing side though, we did choose to go with like uh, rock protection, so more of a bed liner feel, just so that it, you know, as the tires are kicking up stuff, it doesn't uh, mess them up right away, so they should they should live real good. I wouldn't necessarily put these on a welding truck and take them out uh, into the bush, <laughs> but uh, you know, for a truck that's more more for this, towing stuff to shows or you know, Sunday afternoon truck, this is it's super cool. This truck we'll see some more uh, big shows coming up yet. It's not done with that. Plus, we went from the uh, 37 1250. R24s, now we're running 40, 15, 50 uh, 24s. Really filled this thing out. Like, it looks sick. I've drove it a few times since we've completed it, and it's, I kind of thought it would be, you know, a little more twitchy or sluggish. No, it just totally cleaned it up. The extra sidewall is, actually gives it even a nicer ride. I mean, this thing's on a Kelderman lift, 14 inch Kelderman, so it's, uh, it rides plenty good as it is, but this is even better so it, it it's it's awesome i really love how it's turned out uh we got rid of the old uh boss rails that were on the top and uh we also got rid of the uh nerf bar that was on the front and uh the other things that we did now to run these uh 40 inch 1550 wide so obviously that's not a buy off the shelf bolt in spacer we actually had to make these so that took some time and a little bit of r d and stuff to make those work but uh they turned out great um, again i don't know if i would go with a 40 15 50 for a welding truck just because it would be so much weight but for the application this truck gets and for running down the highway pulling the occasional trailer it'll be perfect. So, uh, yeah, if you want to come this way here, we'll uh, uh, show you some other stuff. We also did uh, up, upgraded the tune. Back when we first built this truck, um, we did do a DPF to lead on it, but uh, it was right when that stuff was first coming out, so EGR deletes weren't available back then. So now we've done an EGR delete on it as well and upgraded the tuner and... Uh, we also upgraded all the boost hoses, all that kind of stuff. Because, I mean, the truck literally has no miles on it. But, you know, the years take their toll on everything, uh, whether you're using it or you're not. So we just wanted to make sure that the boost hoses will be able to take it because it has no trouble making 40 pounds of boost like that. So uh, runs real good, lots of power. Another issue we always had with this truck was even with the 37s, it was the steering was always pretty stiff. Even if you were... Uh, you know, even at a roll, it was pretty solid. So we uh, upgraded the steering to, we put PSC hydraulic assist steering on it. So I'll just bump up the air ride so that we can show you under the front. And, uh, which is nice, this truck basically got its own built-in hoist. So, uh, let's show you under here. That's the PSC setup right there. Took a little bit of uh, fab work stuff to make it work with the Mag High Tech diff cover and and we also put a full adjustable track bar in now, which it didn't have before, so we could get the track width dead straight. And uh, man, I tell you, like you can be just sitting dry parking lot and that was before we had the slippery stuff added. Just dry parking lot or even on the concrete inside. And the steering is just like this, one finger. It's fantastic. I shock one is definitely getting the same uh, setup. Uh, pretty damn skippy. Uh, we also, yeah, ditched the bull bar off the front. We are still working on 
uh, the updated grill for this thing, but we're gonna put it back over into uh, Dennis Fair's storage place just for now, because he has no intention of driving this, obviously, in the winter time, but uh, it's ready to go for spring. So we're doing this really cool custom grill that uh, we should have wrapped up for in the springtime. And then we'll bolt that in. We'll bring a truck back in in the spring and then show you what the new grill looks like. But yeah, truck looks great. It's, um, it's, it's ready to go. Runs, drives awesome. Everything seems to be working great. And it's really cool to see it outside again. But we just, yeah, we kind of just wanted to get it modernize a little bit there's a few more things that we want to do uh, but we'll finish that kind of stuff off in the spring but uh, I'm uh, looking forward to everybody being able to see this out driving around uh, this coming summer so see you later